against you, I, um, against the enemy, amen, with you, amen. I want you to go with me to the book of Psalm 37, amen. Psalm 37. <laughs> Psalm 37. We're going to be looking at verses 1 through uh, 4, and then we're going to look at verses 7 through 8.
So some some can say I almost slipped when I was in waiting in line at Walmart or at CVS or Walgreens, and I saw that person in front of me drop fifty dollars on the floor. I almost stepped on him and walked and and, and drug it on the floor and then reached out and put it in my pocket and called it my blessing. Amen. Come on, somebody. I almost slipped. Come on, somebody. I almost slipped. Amen. I almost. Slipped. But, but, but notice he said, I almost slipped, meaning I was on the verge of doing it. Uh, me, me, meaning uh, I, 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 I was going to go through with it, but somehow God kept me in the midst of it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 see, I, I, I was almost at my breaking point because I was sick of seeing people living better than me uh, when, when, when God, you are the last thing on their mind. Yeah. Here it is. I'm in church giving you glory every Sunday. I'm in Bible study, and here it is. I'm even showing love to my haters. I'm giving folk what little I do have, knowing they ain't going to pay me back, and God, it seems like it seems like preachers out here are living more prosperous. Here it is, they preaching the gospel that's not really a gospel. They out here proper lying. They in it for the money and the women. Come on, but here it is, we struggling, man. But I, I, I'm trying to get my legit way, God. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hold on to your never unchanging hand. But, but, but God, I thank you for keeping me in the midst of it all when I almost slipped, when I almost started doing what the world. Was was doing because on because when you look at it from from a, from, from a, a certain perspective, it looks like folk in the world are doing better than you are. But God, I say thank you for keeping me from falling when I almost stumbled. I love how Jude says it in verse 24. He says, now unto him who was able to keep you from stumbling and present you faultless before his presence with his glory and exceeding joy. You see, God is able to keep you from falling and stumbling because God knows just how much you can handle. When you're on the edge, you're like, you're like God, I can't take no more for real. It's like everybody else who don't go to church, they out there slanging, they man, they out there banging, doing that dirt, they riding around with Mercedes Benz and BMWs, here it is, God, I'm trying to do my thing for you, and, and it look like, it look like, I, I ain't going nowhere, I can't quite get things right, God, I'm, I'm, I'm on the edge, God, and you like, don't nobody push me, because if you push me, I may go ahead all the way in and go all the way through with it, come on, somebody. but God is able to keep you even in the midst of, amen. Because somewhere in the back of my mind, I'm saying, God, I'm going to get mine regardless. Come on, somebody. Amen. All right. Amen. Now, Psalm, Psalm, Psalm 37 is actually what we call a wisdom song. It's actually a wisdom song, a song of, of wisdom that, that, gave, that David pens. And when we're looking, when we gaze upon the first verse, it says, uh, do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity. Now, the, the, now I want us to look at that word fret. It means to don't become angry. Uh, don't don't become furious. I know sometimes we 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 we, we get uh it, it may not be a righteous anger, but it may be a fleshly anger. When you see those out there doing dirt, living better than you are, you 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 know they they live in ill they they get in this an illegitimate way, and you like God, I can't take no more. Forget this man. I'm about to go back to doing what I used to do uh, because I know how I know how to get money, Lord. It may not be the right way, but I know how to get it. Yeah. Sometimes we like, Lord, I know who to call on, God. I'm sick of this. Uh, even if I have to make that call late at night, 12 o'clock, midnight, it, it may not be right. I may be degrading myself, but God, at least my bills will be paid. I, I know he don't have any feelings for me for real. I, I, I know what I am saying. I know, God, he may look at me as a jump on, but God, I got bills due. I, I know he got others on the side. Yeah, I know he don't love me for real, but God, at least, at least my light bill, at least my lights will come back on. Yeah, at least my car won't get repossessed. Yeah. At least I will have some food in my pantry. At least my babies will eat. I will have some food in my refrigerator. Amen. Uh, but the Bible says, don't fret, amen. Yeah. Don't fret. Don't get 
get angry, amen, because of those doing evil. And I like what Galatians uh, 6 uh, and, and, and 9 says. It says, and let us not grow weary in doing good, amen. Yeah. Because it says, in due season, if we shall, we shall reap, if we do not lose heart, amen. So, so even when you about to pick up your cell phone or make that phone call, the Bible says, don't grow weary, amen, because your season is right around the corner. Come on, somebody. But see, sometimes our seasons don't come around as quick as we want them to, amen. But just if you look at the flowers of the earth, the flowers know their season to blossom. They don't blossom before their time. And see, sometimes we got to wait for our season. And see, I love how the old folk used to say, the, the old cliche goes, he may not come when you want him to, but the God we serve, he's always on time, amen. It says, let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we don't lose heart. Amen. So I'm going to wait on God because I know mine is on the way. I ain't going to lose heart because I love the scripture where it says, I was young, but now I'm old. But I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Amen. I know the government shut down a few weeks ago. Amen. But for some folk, that was God's opportunity to flex his ability. Amen. So flex his might. You don't need your job for real, for real, because I am the, the provider. I own a cattle on a thousand hills. I'm the one, I own the earth and the fullness thereof. I am the good shepherd. I am your shepherd. I will lead you in the bright pathway. Come on, somebody. And I love, he is Jehovah Jireh. He is my provider. Come on, somebody. So even when a situation don't look good, I know that God is still able to do for me what I need to get done. So when I, so when I look at the world and I see the world ain't doing right, I know I got a daddy who sits on high, but he still looks on to see what I'm going through. Come on, somebody. Some of us used to do the same thing. Let me say that again. 
We can't be too critical on those who are out there doing wrong. Because some of us, we were doing the same thing. We were doing our dirt. And we were living real good, amen. Until God humbled us. Uh, uh, but, 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 but see, and, and see, God could have taken us out like grass. But it's only because of grace that we are still here. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only because of grace that we are still here. But it says it shall soon be cut down and wither like the green herb. Verse 3 says, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Uh, the Bible says that blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. Now, now I, I look at this text right here, the scripture, and I immediately thought about Job, okay? Because through the midst of all that Job went through, Job had to trust in the Lord, amen? And, and, and verse 20 of, of Job chapter 1, it says, And then Job rose to his robe and shaved his head and fell to the ground and worshipped. So in other words, even after Job lost everything he had, he still fell on the ground and worship, amen. You see, worship keeps you close to God even when you don't understand why God is allowing you to go through what you go through, amen. God, I, I don't understand it, but I'm still going to remain in your presence, amen. Because once again, you are able to turn this thing around because God, if I leave your presence knowing that all that I went through, I may lose my mind, but as long as I'm in your presence, it's keeping me sane. It's keeping me from going to the nut house. It's keeping me, God, from hitting the crack pipe. It's keeping me, God, from hitting a bottle full throttle. Come on, somebody. It's keeping me, Lord. Amen. Come on, Keep it. Amen. It says, bless the man who trusts in the Lord. Amen. It says, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Amen. Yeah. Lord, I'm feeding on the fact that you're faithful. I'm feeding on the fact that, God, you brought me out of that situation. You brought me out of that situation. You brought me out of that situation. And if you did it then, I believe that you could do it right now. So even though my money is funny and I can't quite make ends meet, I do believe I'm still going to get mine. Amen. Because I am your child and you are my daddy and if you provide for me the other time I know you're going to do it this time and I love, I love verse 4 it says delight yourself also in the Lord and it says he shall give you the desires of your heart I told you I'm going to get my name back here. I, 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 I'm going to get what belongs to me. I, I'm going to get mine. But it says, delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Amen. Now, see, desire, it means to request. It means a petition. Thing meaning that there's some things that on the inside of me that I'm longing for. Amen. And see, God knows what you are longing for before you ask him. But see, sometimes he wants you to ask him just for you to verbalize it to him. Amen. Uh, so that's so, 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 but, 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 but see, the text suggests that God will give you your heart's desire, but it's based on the condition that you base that, that, that you delight yourself in Him. Let me say it again. It, 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 God will give you your heart's desires, but it's based on the condition that you first delight yourself in Him. Okay. Now can I take it step further? So that means if I'm delighting myself in Him. That means I'm really not focused too much on what the worldly people are doing because I'm, con I'm too consumed with hanging out with God, amen. So that means if I'm delight myself with him, with God, that means the person is running a scam job, amen. I'm not I'm not worried about what he's doing, amen. Yeah. That means the person who, 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 who's running a, a, a illegitimate business and getting rich, I'm not worried about him, amen, because I'm too focused on God. I'm too busy praising God. I'm too busy in my word. I'm too busy to give God worship, amen. I'm too consumed with God to think about what the world is doing, amen. Even though what they're doing is wrong, I love God so much that my focus is right here versus being over there. Because the word tells me, I know sometimes people say, well, God will only give you what you need. Oh, he'll only give you what you need. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, the Bible clearly says that he will give you your heart's desires. That's what it says. That's what David says. Once again, the book of wisdom. 
and that he will give you your heart's desires based on the fact that you, that you delight yourself in him. Okay, uh, now that means that if I want to see my church blessed, that means as long as I delight myself in God, God's going to do it. So that means if I, if I delight myself in God and I want to see more souls saved, then he's going to meet my desire. So that means as long as we, just, as we, as we delight ourselves in God, since we want a bigger church, he's going to give us what we want. Come on, somebody. So that means as long as I desire in God, that means if I want more money in my bank account, he's going to put an extra, some extra zeros behind that comma. Come on, somebody. That means that if I delight myself in God, he's going to move me out of my apartment in which I'm renting to a house that I'm going to own. Come on, somebody. That means that if I delight myself in God, if I desire a raise on my job, he's going to give me a raise. Amen. That means if I desire in God, since I want my children to go off to college to get their degree, that's what he's going to allow them to do. That means that if I delight myself in God, if I, if I want to own my own business, he's going to meet me at my desire. Amen. That means if I delight myself in God, if I want a brand new car, he's going to meet me at my desire because I delight myself in him. And see, when you delight yourself in God, that means that when you ask God for something, you're asking according to his will, amen. You're not asking amiss or for selfish reasons just to say, look what I did. But, but, but God knows when you delight yourself in him, he can trust you with a blessing because he knows that you're going to give him the praise for it, amen. He knows you won't catch amnesia like some folk do. He knows that when he bless you with a bigger house, you ain't going to stop coming to church. Come on. He knows that if you bless you with a brand new BMW or Mercedes, you ain't going to just ride past the church, but you're going to stop in and come to work. So come on, somebody. See, 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 God knows that if he bless you with a new husband or with a wife, you ain't going to lay in bed on Sunday on Sunday morning, but y'all will come to church and give him the glory because he put y'all together. Come on, somebody. But God will bless you if you delight yourself in him. It says he will give you the desires of your heart. Amen. He will give you the desires of your heart. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the word says. He'll give you the desires of your heart. And then verse 7 says, another reason why we should not fret or, get, or become angry with the world is because verse 7 says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in this way, because of the man who brings wicked schemes to pass. And see, why, while you're waiting on God, he's renewing your strength in him. Because Isaiah 40, 40 and 31 says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles, and they shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. So even though even though when I look around the world and see like those who are wicked are prospering, I know I'm still waiting on God. Because I know once again, and, 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 and Galatians in my season, I know I'm going to get blessed. And I'm saying this, while I'm waiting on God, my strength is being renewed, amen. And, 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 and in Psalm 27 and 14, it says, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. And he shall strengthen our heart. Wait, I say, wait on the Lord, amen. So once again, I need for you, everybody, under the sound of my voice, amen, to proclaim, I'm going to get mine, amen. Because I'm going to desire myself in God. And he's going to give me the desires of my heart. And even if it means me wait on a thing, sometimes it's waiting. Well worth the wait. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Because there are times when God will be will succeed your expectation. You may ask for a four bedroom. He may give you a five. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. You may want a five series BMW. He may give you the seven. Come on. Yeah. You may want an E class Mercedes. He may give you the S. Come on, somebody. Yeah. But God will exceed your desire sometimes. Amen. Yes, he will. Amen. Yes, he will. Amen. Oh, yeah. He will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. He will give you. The desires of your heart, amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 I know, know someone some like, well, preachers, he talking about, about materialistic things. Yeah, I am. Because like I see, he, he will bless you with not only the spiritual things, but he will bless you with the, with the physical things that you need. Because we serve a God who is whole. We don't serve a God who's only concerned about your spiritual being. He's concerned about what you eat. He's concerned about what you wear. What you drive, where you live. He, he, he's concerned about who you're with, amen. He's concerned about the whole aspect of your being, not just one. But it says he will give you the desires of your heart, but sometimes we got to be patient and wait on him, amen. 
But just know that you're going to get yours, amen. Yeah. Amen. You're going to get yours, amen. Yeah. Anybody believe you're going to get yours, amen. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I want to talk to the folk right now. Oh, yeah. You, you yeah. in a bind for real right now. I, I, can I be real? I, I'm going to close it up. But, but is anybody in a bind right now, amen? You, yeah. you got more bills than you, than you got money, amen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you come home and you put the bills on the kitchen table and a spirit of the present hits you gone. Oh, All right. Really right. Oh. You, 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 you get the light bills sometimes and they give you that notice. You got three days to pay. Oh, we're going to turn the lights off, baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you, you just got the notice from the bank that we're going to repossess your car because you have not paid the car note yet, amen. Uh, you, sometimes you look at your pantry or your refrigerator and say, Lord, we ain't got nothing to eat, amen. It's looking real dry up in here. It's looking real desolate up in here. God, I don't even know. I may have to put some water in the kitchen and stretch it a little bit. Come on, look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I may have to make the pancakes a little thinner, amen, just so I can stretch it a little bit. But just know you're going to get yours. Come on, look Because as long as long as you stay faithful to God, as long as you keep your hand in God's hand, He will meet you with every single need, no matter what the need may be. Yes, Amen. Amen. So, y'all may be like, Lord, uh, yes, I'm lonely right now. I, yeah. I don't have anybody call me boo. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Ain't nobody calling me on the phone, sit, asking me how I'm doing, asking me do I'm gonna go out to dinner, down to women's in fair, go out to the nice restaurant, go to Corral, uh, 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 Texas Roll House, amen, uh, Red Lobster, amen. Ain't nobody calling me, y'all, to ask me to go to Tea Town Fridays or, or Applebee's, amen. Ain't nobody calling me, y'all. But God, you, you, you like God, the first person to ask me, I don't care how you look, I'm gonna jump on that. But God, I said, wait, amen, because I can't supply your need. Just wait on me, I'm gonna give you the desire. Of your heart, amen. Yeah, come on, somebody. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. But you're gonna get yours, amen. You, you're gonna get yours. I, I don't care what the need is. You're gonna get yours, amen. As long as you place your desire in Him, He will give you the desires of your heart, amen. He will give you the heart's desires. Let us all stand in the house of the Lord. Amen.